Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. It has made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you shut out of the sky. Strength and silence aren't enough to keep you alive. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah... it looks like... Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? Take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? I haven't actually seen it yet. You've had me wrapped up this whole time, <laughs> numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. I mean, my family, we heal quick. Could be fine. <laughs> I shouldn't get my hopes up, I guess. Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? I don't know why I thought I'd get an answer. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate... easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. I'm sorry, Bruce. Who... who is this? For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. She must have a good reason for being there. They did have a price on her head after all. They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. 
Don't be their puppet. Or, you know, just stand there. <sighs> Just read the bloody script, Bruce. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation. Treatment. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. Damn it, Bruce. You've gotta say something. Nothing even really happened. Not like he thinks, anyway. I'd rather not die for something I didn't even do. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Bruce, don't make this harder than it needs to be. A tip. Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. They're dead. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who is the boy then? After everything Bruce has done, why should I do anything for him? I was a lawyer for years, Batman. The silent trick only works for so long. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on! Let's hear it! Yeah, that's what I thought. I always considered him my friend. But he's past saving. And there's no world in which he manages to set this right. I wish it hadn't come to this either. Going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I've no doubt you'll come up with something. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. Stop whining! There's nothing you can do for me. People must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Even those whom you admire. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. You know, your glares are a lot less scary without the suit.
my state, I'm not of much use to you. It'll take time to adjust, and I'm afraid it may interfere with my butler duties. I only hope I don't become a burden. You have enough to worry about without my adding to your list. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. <clears throat> Batman! Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So... What is it? Got it. I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? <laughs> Had a feeling you'd say that. So, I've been sitting over there wondering, what's Bruce Wayne doing in a place like this? I figured you went to fancier casinos. Some place where only high rollers go. Hello? Are you drunk? Are you always this rude? Bruce. You think your gibberish intimidates Hello? me? Not him. You'd better gear up. You can't just blow me off. And you? I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge. This is my city. Now I'm back. And I'm taking what's mine. Either your thinking or your brain has stopped working entirely. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Forget I asked. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. I saw how you saved Maury. I saw how angry you got about what happened to Fox. Either your thinking or your brain has stopped working entirely. Who's the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? I want to hear it from you. You let one agent die to save another. <laughs> well, that can't sit right with you. Can it? it? Must be an uncomfortable feeling. I wouldn't know what to say either. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. You better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. These bastards declared war on our city. Uh, give us a second, will you? I wanted to thank you properly. 
for saving my life. I wouldn't be here without you. Okay. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. I'm sure you'll figure out something. I think he swear. for a couple of grown men to do. Hey! I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. I think I'm in love. It's it's an odd feeling. At first, I, I, I thought I had some kind of disease, but uh, no. I, I think it's love. Boy, I just put that out there, and you're gonna leave me hanging. That's cold. Oh, damn it! I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. At least it worked before. It, it did, I, I promise. Really. It, it, it works. It, it's just a matter of trial and error. Come on, you son of a... Let's put some music on. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about, Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. A brood in silent type, huh? So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? Kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. Hmm, what's the matter? Cat got your tongue. You can't make friends with the silent treatment. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? If you want to be a mute so badly, I can arrange that. <laughs> 